So then after you, after or while you're reading those, you're also going to want to read the old Burn, uh, Burn Claremont uh, comics. This, this is the Dark Phoenix Saga. This is the old cover of the trade paperback that you're going to have some difficulty finding, but you could, you could possibly find it. It's, it's a uh, Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Uh, it's the entire uh, Dark Phoenix Saga. It's awesome. Uh, it's, it's actually like a required reading. This is all required everything. <clears throat> it's required viewing, required... Anyway, this, this is actually more required than other stuff. Actually, no. You know what? All of this is required reading. It'll take you a while to accumulate all this stuff, but, you know, this, you want this, all right? Then you're going to want this, the Days of the Future Past. You can get this in trade paperback, but I have the single issues. Days of the Future Past are two issues, 141 and 142. They've butchered this uh, timeline, or they've butchered this, uh, uh, this storyline in the cartoons. Anyway, uh... A lot of what's going on in comics is that people are butchering all of this awesome shit. You know? There's all this awesome shit and people are like, Oh yeah, this is from... Uh, yeah, let's add to it and change the chronology and change the timeline and stuff. It's all trash. You're, you're gonna... You know, don't, don't read anything current. And if people are out there going, Hey, I like the current stuff. <laughs> Have you read all of this shit? I doubt it. All right? These uh, you want to find. All right. New Mutants Special... Special edition number one. Here's the cover. All right. Looks like that. Then uh, X-Men uh, giant-sized annual number nine. This is the... Uh, what is this shit? I forgot what this... Uh, this is called the... Uh, this is where they face off against Loki. forgot what it's called. Um, but, uh, it's, it's essentially just X-Men number nine, or X-Men giant-sized annual, rather. Giant-sized annual number nine, then you also want to do giant-sized annual number ten. Alright, after that, you have, uh, this, Daredevil, Born Again. You might have seen that I have this poster right here, you know, anyway. Uh, if you can't find this trade paperback, uh, or if you if you want to do the single issues, single issues are Daredevil 227 through through 233. All right, it might be cheaper to do the single issues. Who knows? Probably not, but uh, you might be able to do that. Somebody might be selling a lot, you know. But uh, this and this required viewing or requ anyway required reading. Oh, anyway. Alright. <laughs> oh, so good. Um, also, required reading is this. Choose Your Own Adventure, uh, number 12, Inside UFO 5440. Alright. It's very good. You want to get a copy of this, and then any other Choose Your Own Adventure books you can. I'm too broke right now to uh, buy the entire series, but I would like to. You know, I'd like to have the entire series. These are awesome. Buy as many as you can. Go on eBay. Buy a lot of, like, you know, buy a lot of maybe, like, 20 or 30 of these, and just, you know, put that in your library, and uh, your kids will love you, or you will love yourself. All right? That's that. Then you want to do this. You want to do this. Batman Year One. Trade paperback. It's awesome. Frank Miller. All right. After you do Daredevil, you want to do the Batman. Frank Miller Year One. Then you're going to want to do this. Dark Knight Returns. Collected edition or single issues if you want. You can get these really cheap on eBay now. Uh, single issues, Batman, Dark Knight Returns, number two, number three, number four. All right. Do, do, do. Then there's Ronin, 
Frank Miller's Ronin. You can buy this in trade paperback. This thing, Watchmen, you know, it's it's pretty good. Uh, a lot of people might think I'm joking when I say that, but you know, uh, some people will will say Watchmen over Dark Knight Returns. No, Dark Knight Returns over Watchmen. Watchmen's great and all, but uh, you know, it's it's no Dark Knight Returns. You know, some people will disagree with me, but they're wrong, right? Uh, uh, if you want to get into it, you know, just give me some time. Like, I'm not going to get into it right now, but uh, I can I can tell you that Dark Knight Returns over Watchmen. You know, I'm going to write a book on it, or a book. I'll write a treatise on it. I'll put it in my treatise collection. You guys will love it. All right, then you're going to want to do this, you know. Hey, remember Elektra? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, like, this is uh, Elektra Assassin, trade paperback. All right, you're gonna you're gonna uh, you get that call back to the Daredevil. You know, oh yeah, Electra, she died and then she disappeared. Hey, look, she's back, Electra Assassin. All right, fucking awesome. All right, so you do Electra Assassin, then you do uh, Electra Lives Again, and that's the end of the Electra series. And that's pretty much all you. Actually, you're gonna want to do all of that, and uh, no, 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 you do all that. So you do uh, Electra Lives Again. I think Born Again comes before this, but the chronology-wise, you're going to want to do like... Here, let's do this. Hold on. All right, do... Do like the 181 through 191, right? Then do Electra Assassin. Then Electra Lives Again. No, wait a second. No, yeah. You want to do Electra Assassin, then Electra Lives Again, then Born Again. Here! <laughs> so this is the last Daredevil book that you you should ever read, you know? Because everything else is just like, you know, let's extrapolate upon that and then dance around and not cover any sort of relevant anything, you know. It's it's like you, you can't, like after you read all of these Daredevil comics, the Miller Daredevil, like you can't read anything else. Like, you know, Kevin Smith did some Daredevil stuff. I'm not going to read that shit, you know. Come on. Oh, he's back. And it's like at the end of Daredevil, he, he pretty much like, you know, is done. You know, he's like, fuck it. You know, I'm just going to chill with this... Uh, I don't want to spoil the ending. Chill with chill with what? I'm not going to tell you. Right? He might he could chill with anything. Chill with why? Fuck it. He's uh, he's just going to chill with. Excellent. I didn't give it away. All right. So after you uh, finish up with uh, Born Again, right? Electra lives again, and then Born Again. You're going to want to do Sin City. And, uh, and then subsequently, Dame to Kill For, there's no, this is the hardback, um, but like, you know, why is that backwards? Oh, it's, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm like, that shouldn't be reversed, you know? There you go. Frank Miller's Dame to, anyway, Frank Miller's Dame to Kill For, you know? Yeah, uh, Big Fat Kill is good too, but like, you know, it's not as good as these two. These two are like all you really need. And then uh, if you want to like kind of indulge yourself with like, what if Dwight kept going? Then like you get uh, Big Fat Kill. And then after Big Fat Kill, it just goes into the toilet. You don't want to bother with anything more. All right. <clears throat> This is also very good. I got this at that same uh, nickel and dime shop in Korea. It's a, I, you know, this is one of those comics that uh, it doesn't seem like anybody reads, but this is the last issue, and uh, it's pretty fucked up. It's pretty fucked up. You want to read this? It'll kind of give you, like, uh, an insight into, like, uh, you know, some fucked up shit into the... <coughs> Excuse me! 
but it'll give you some insight into like some fucked up shit that's going on in the universe. All right. It's the last issue. They, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's the last issue of the comic book, uh, of the series of the character, you know, big surprise, surprise ending there. Anyway, Give me a moment, guys. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hey, who cares? <laughs> Man, they're so fucking annoying. Woo! So fucking stupid, guys. I'll get to I'll get to some actual news in a second, or uh, you know, after you watch this, there'll be some news. I'll, I'm gonna post a, a whole shitload of shit. All right. All right. We left off the movies at uh, Holy Grail so after Holy Grail you're gonna want to do let's see Nightmare on Elm Street 1, 2, and 3 and I guess 4 also uh, actually, you're going to want to skip two. You know? Two is horrible. Uh, you do one, three, and four. All right? That's going to give you nightmares. But uh, anyway, uh, you do uh, Brazil. All right. Uh, all right. Beetlejuice. These, these aren't exactly in chronological order, but uh, Naked Gun uh, uh, DVD gift set with all three. Like the third one is kind of not that great. Anyway, uh, moving on. All right. Got Airplane. All right. And then Airplane 2, the sequel. Then you do, surprise, Kentucky Fried Movie, right? Before you do uh, Enter the Dragon, right? It's kind of weird because they, they, par they parody, anyway, they parody Enter the Dragon in Kentucky Fried Movie, but, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit interesting to see the parody first, and then you see the original movie. Do that if you can. Then you're going to want to see as many Jackie Chan movies as possible. Uh, this is one of the best, Dragons Forever. Alright. Then you could do uh, the rest of Bruce Lee. You know, this is the Bruce Lee uh, collected edition. It's got uh, all the movies in there. I'm going to do uh, Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon. And then you want to skip Game of Death and Game of Death 2. But uh, let's see. Let's go through these. You got Conan, the original with Schwarzenegger. You got uh, Meaning of Life. But uh, yeah, you do Meaning of Life and then do Life of Brian. Die Hard. Full Metal Jacket, you know, right, ar right around the time, Full Metal Jacket, you know, you do this, like, there's that series, uh, Tour of Duty, you know, then you're gonna do Platoon, and then also, uh, Apocalypse Now, alright, I'm gonna do this, The Hidden, alright, They Live, I'm gonna do the entire Red Dwarf series, alright, then you're gonna do Scarface, Final Tap, 